Desertification is the process which turns productive soil into desert as a result of poor land management. Desertification reduces the ability of land to support life, affecting wild species, domestic animals, agricultural crops and people. As vegetation cover and soil layer are reduced, raindrop impact and runoff increases. Water is lost off the land instead of soaking into the soil to provide moisture for plants. Even long-life plants that would normally survive droughts die. A reduction in plant cover also results in a reduction in the quantity of humus and plant nutrients in the soil, and plant production drops further. As protective plant cover disappears, floods become more frequent and more severe. Desertification is self-reinforcing. In other words, once the process has started, conditions are set for continual deterioration. This degradation of formerly productive land is a complex process. It has multiple causes and proceeds at varying rates in different climates. Desertification may intensify a general climatic trend towards greater dryness or start a change in local climate. Desertification was the main focus of the EPPED conference which took place in the European Parliament. Climate change, food security and environmental degradation, science and policy making to ensure better governance, new research and the tools that can be used to combat drought and famine were the topics of the discussion between MEPs and scientists. Struan Stevenson, Vice Chairman of the EPPED Group and organiser of the conference, linked the problem of desertification to global warming. We're talking about the food crisis, we're talking about climate change, an area the size of the Ukraine is being taken out of agricultural food production every year now because of climate change, because of desertification. So here we have some of the leading academic experts, the leading scientists who've been working from all over Europe on this issue, uh, gathered together here in the European Parliament. Hopefully we will be able to come up with some guidance, some conclusions at the end of this very important uh, conference that will send clear signals to member state governments on how we can help and how we can stop the desertification spreading and therefore stop the, the food crisis. Mr Stevenson also pointed to water waste as a significant factor. Here is something that you know we uh, really have to tackle and we have to do it in a sustainable way. People don't realise that to produce a one litre plastic bottle which you fill with water takes over a hundred litres of water. I mean this is not sustainable. They don't realise that to produce one litre of biofuel, which we are now insisting upon as, as part of our renewable energy uh, programme to tackle climate change, one litre of biofuel needs 1,100 litres of water to produce. Now that is not sustainable. We have to think carefully about the consequences of all the actions we take. And in that way, we may arrive at a sustainable balance. We asked EPPED Chairman Joseph Dahl what he thought the European Parliament and the EPPED Group could do to address the issue. We have to see the problem in its entirety and in a global context. I'm thinking especially about Africa. Since before arriving in Southern Europe, we are talking first about Africa, where there are enormous problems. This continent of Africa, if there is no more water, and consequently no more life, these problems will soon move to Europe. So we have our southern countries, Spain, Portugal, the south of Italy, but we have the same problem which presents itself in Africa. So we have to learn how to better manage water. I think that's the main problem, but we have to find more solutions. They exist, and we know they're expensive, but we have invested a lot in foodstuffs, agricultural policy, and this forms part of the same strategy, if we want to continue to feed people in the world. At the moment, we have entered a period of food crisis. We have to find solutions, for water in particular, and make European investments in the south of Europe. Parliament's rapporteur on soil protection, Cristina gutierrez Cortines, emphasised a cross-cutting approach to the problem. We need a good land management policy that takes account of all the problems that happen in the soil, that, that uh, to have a good distribution of the use of the soil, that's one point. A good land management uh, would include in their own policies, the, uh, as in one of the points of the agenda, one of the priorities, soil preservation and the fight against desertification. We need also a water approach, because water is completely essential for the 
fight against the desertification. We need agriculture, but at the same time, we need to keep the rivers with the water, to keep the underground water, and to provide water if they have not water, to come from another place, the transfer of water. But at the same time, we need that to keep in the land all drops that come from the rain. Water knows no borders, and countries must encourage scientific research in order to reach agreements on water quality, water control and pollution prevention. This hearing in the European Parliament in Brussels provided a unique platform to discuss environmental degradation and the political consequences, bringing together experts on climate change, sustainability and land management.